Hello everyone, welcome back to Sengoku Basara 4 Sumeragi. If you're not sure what this game is, maybe you want to check out the first part of the series on my channel, so I do a little bit of explanation on what this game is about. It is entirely in Japanese, so I'm playing this mostly with fan-made translation material. Today we're going to be playing through Soren Otomo's story, so this is our character here. He looks a little wacky, but uh, wait till you see what he's got in store for you. Let's select him here for free play mode, and I'll spend a little bit of time talking about who he is and what his background is before we jump in. Alright, so before we can talk about Sora and Otomo, I think we need to talk a little bit about another character from Basara named Zavi. So, in Basara 1 and 2, there was a character named Zavi. And here's a picture of him right now on the screen. And he's kind of a parody version of St. Francis Xavier. St. Francis Xavier was a well-known missionary that went to Japan to spread the word of Christianity. So Zavi is a parody of Francis Xavier. That's why the name Zavi comes from Xavier without the ER on the end. In the Japanese version, they kind of call him Zabi with like a B sound, but in the English version of Basara 3 they translated his name to Zavi. So instead of spreading Christianity, Zavi spreads his own religion called Zavism, and Zavism has him as kind of the central figurehead of the pontiff, and he preaches about love and friendship and kindness, and yet despite that all his actions completely contradict. Uh, what he says. Instead, they go around invading other places, trying to convert them to Zavism, and he fights using like a pair of uh, cannons that shoot giant cannonballs. So by the time Basara 3 comes around, Zabi is no longer a playable character in the game, and the in-game lore says that he left Japan to go spread his religion elsewhere. So he kind of left this disciple of his, Soren Otomo, in charge. Now, Soren's kind of interesting because as you can see, he kind of fights atop this weird kind of stand stage thing, and you can't really see it here, but maybe we'll click here and see. Oops. I guess you can't really see it from <laughs> this part. It's actually shaped like Zabi's head, and he calls it the Zabi tank. Most of his weapons look like joke weapons. This is one of them. It kind of changes his weapon into like a zombie head with an afro and a pair of wings. And this one changes it into almost like a parade float. And it says zombie at the bottom. It's got some spotlights. I think this one's just a just another festive float with some lanterns. And this one is a fish tank. Very interesting choice of weapons. Here's his costumes. So here's his default version. Very poofy sleeves, as you can see. <laughs> this one turns him into an angel of sorts. He has a pillow in his hand instead of a, a book. And this one makes him dress up like Zavi. Kinda cute, actually if not a little bit ridiculous. And here is his retainer, Munishige, his regular outfit, second outfit, and he can also dress up like, like Zavi. So, Soren is a an interesting character. In Basara 3, he was originally an NPC boss, and he fought you atop of a giant tank that was shaped like Zabi's head, and all the tank did was shoot cannonballs and release extra soldiers onto the field to take over your bases. So he didn't really do much, and then once you blew up his tank, this tiny little Zabi head stand pops out, and Soren tries to escape, running away, and he pretty much goes down in one hit after that. So he's a little bit pathetic. And you can use him as an NPC ally in Basara 3, and as an NPC ally, he uses this tiny zombie head 
and it only shoots tiny mini missiles, and occasionally if he happens to run over an enemy, it'll kind of knock them down. But he didn't really have too many battle skills. It wasn't until Basara 3 Utage came out that he became a playable character, and they really changed his moveset, so he fights in this little mini zombie tank, and he not only shoots missiles, but he's also able to sing and dance and convert people to his religion, force them to sing and dance, or he can turn his little tank into almost a miniature robot with some flamethrowers. So he was a really original character, and I really grew to like him in Bizarre 3 Utage because he was just so fun to play, and I admit in Bizarre 3 when I first saw him I thought he looked really, really strange. So, the historical Soren Otomo, I believe, did convert to Christianity and then change his name to Soren. People speculate that it was more of a political move to convert to Christianity rather than like an actual devout following to his religion, but I'm not really sure about that because I don't know Japanese history. And so he spreads Abism across, well, in the Bizarre universe, he spreads Avism, and it's pretty funny because in Bizarre 2, some characters actually have a joke ending with Zavi, where they do get converted to Zavism, and that includes Yoshihiro Shimazu, and he, he gets his name changed into Chester Shimazu, and Motonari Mori also gets an ending where he gets converted to Zavism, and then his name gets changed to Sunday Mori, which is pretty funny too because Motonari is this, like, stone-cold cunning tactician, and to see him give in to this religion, it's quite comical. In Basara 3, Kanbei also, Kanbei Kuroda, also gets converted into Zabism as the name Josi, and then Munishige here, Soren's retainer, gets the name Gallop Tachibana. And so there are stages where you fight Soren with a bunch of his Zavist followers. It's also funny because whenever Motonari seems to encounter Zabism or Soren, these memories of being converted come flooding back and he can't help but hold himself back as Soren sings to him. Motonari can't help but break out into song as well, so it's quite quite comical. In Basara 3 Utage, Soren's ending actually has him finally converting Motonari and then they walk up this like stairway to heaven and these like little angels come down with Zabi's faces on the angels. Really, really, really strange. So you'll see a little bit of that in this game as well. So one of the reasons why Soren is so dangerous, like he himself isn't super strong. I mean, he looks a little ridiculous and his weaponry is kind of intimidating, I guess. But the main reason why he's feared is because of Munishige here. So Munishige is a really strong samurai and he wields dual chainsaws. And he's kind of like almost like Honda Tarakatsu on Soren stage, he'll chase you around and he's really hard to beat if you're not up to gear. And the thing with Munishige is he's not really really into the Zavism thing, but his character trait is that he's so loyal and honorable, and so he swore this oath that he'd serve Soren, and so he's gonna stick through it even though Soren basically treats him like dirt and blames him for every time something messes up. So. Poor Munishige, he's also another funny character because he also has a lot of internal dialogue, so you'll see when he's talking sometimes, he'll kind of have this inner voice and you'll hear his voice echoing to kind of signify that he's talking to himself and kind of saying things like, why am I doing this, or like, I shouldn't be here, or I don't want to do this, why am I here? But but he's just so loyal that he'll stick by Soren no matter what. Um, on In Bizarre 3, Soren stages also kind of uh, kind of funny to watch because Munishigi will chase you around and the only way to kind of stop him other than to take him down is to take over the bases and when you take over the bases all the bridges in the area change into portraits of Soren with Zavi on the bridge and then so if you run across the bridge Munishigi won't follow you because he's so loyal he refuses to step on a picture of his lord's face so even though he knows that he can get to you faster by chasing you over the bridge, he won't step on Soren's face, so then he has to take a long detour, which buys you some time to go and take down Soren. So he's a he's a funny character. He also likes to talk about his wife a lot, and his wife is not a playable character or even a scene character in the Bizarre universe. So she hasn't been seen yet, but he'll say things like funny to the effect of saying that she's really strong 
and she's stronger than he is. And in fact, he mentions once in Vasara 3 that his wife uses his chainsaw weapons to prune her bonsai trees. So she's a badass, maybe we'll see her one day. I know she's a character in Samurai Warriors, but they also have their own version of Munishige. His joke weapon in this game, well, he's got a couple, I think, actually. So he has, like, a pair of crutches here. I'm not really sure how that works in terms of, like, the chainsaw actions. Wait, did his foot turn into a cast? Is this foot in a cast? Oh my gosh, yeah, his foot gets put to a cast when you equip one of these crutch weapons. And then he also has this one. This is also kind of a joke weapon. They look like... Oops. They look like light bulbs, almost. Or like little filaments. Switch him back to his regular weapon. So... For Soren, I don't actually have his personal inscription equipped, because his personal inscription powers up some of his moves, but it also makes him take three times more damage, and I'm not really prepared to do that, so... Soren's stories are usually a bit more comical, so hopefully we'll enjoy this a little bit. Let's go check him out in story mode. And as you heard, his character theme was also really almost intimidating, and you heard people chanting the name Zavi in the background of the music track. <laughs> so he's a little bit difficult to use. But I have him at a decent level, so maybe we'll try this difficulty. ぬねしげ不況している場合じゃありませんよ。ほ。ほ。確かに乱世に苦しむ民は日々増すばかり。日の本ザビーランド家計画ついに始動です。乱世のごたごたに紛れて土地を買い漁りなさい。ほ。で
kind of traveling on is the giant zombie tank he uses as a weapon in Basara 3. And so his little mini zombie tank fits into it. And you'll see it during his Basara move as well. Okay, so this stage involves Ieyasu and Hideyoshi. So Ieyasu was one of Hideyoshi's followers, and he ends up betraying Hideyoshi and killing him because he believes Hideyoshi is a tyrant, and instead Ieyasu decides to uh, take reuniting the country into his own hands and becoming the next uh, kind of big, large player in the Sengoku history. So this stage is we're intruding on a battle between the two of them. So this stage is actually Ieyasu's stage, but now we're going through it backwards. So if you look behind us, this is actually where we fought Ieyasu last time. Let's show off some of Soren's moves. So he's got this mini zombie tank as he walks around, he's quite cheerful, flamboyant. If I run, he'll do this. So his attacks mostly involve like dashing forward and spinning around. Loses his balance a little bit. If I hold the button down, I can also turn him into cannon mode, where he just shoots little missiles. <laughs> He's like thrusting or something. That's one of his attacks from Basara 3 as an NPC ally. In fact, that's his like, only attack that he can use as an ally. And then I have this attack where he sends out little mini zabi toys that explode. Now this is one of his kind of unique attacks. So he summons four little Zabi angels, and if you look closely, they have little Zabi faces on them. And if they hit anyone, they basically grab those enemies and convert them into Zabism. And then those enemies float around you as some of your followers, and they enhance your moves depending on who you've converted and what type of enemies you've converted. So here's his guard. He creates some kind of magical barrier. This move where he shoots off some rocket arms behind him. And then he has this move where he kind of creates a runway for himself. Oops, not this one. He creates a runway for himself and then he kind of pops some party poppers. I can also just sing. So if you have any converted minions, when you're singing, they'll rotate around you, dealing extra damage and increasing your uh, area of effect. You can also kind of drop. As you can see, when he jumps, he kind of flaps his wings, like as if he's trying to fly. He just has some regular aerial attacks where he just shoots his missiles. In midair. And then for his R2 moves, so his first one. So if you just press it once, he'll release a couple mechanical parts which kind of go forward and explode. The idea is if you hold the button, the longer you hold it, the more parts he pulls out. And he ends up building like a mini Zabi. If you build the whole thing, then it just moves around freely, shooting lasers and stuff. Okay. 
This other move of his is pretty fun. So he breaks out into a dance party, and the fun thing about this is it actually makes all the enemies around you start to dance as well. Like, they can't control themselves. Then at the end, he kind of explodes and they all go flying. If you have any converted minions, you can also move this spotlight around, and your minions will follow around, so you can direct the attack a bit more before you explode. Now this last move, he does this. So he transforms his zombie tank into a little robot, and suddenly his entire moveset will change. So now his like idle stance seems to have changed a little bit too. Kind of dances a bit. And he can't actually guard in this form at all. And his zombie tank moves quite fast, actually. Oops, and it ends on its own after a while. So you can do your regular attack, which changes. You can hold the button down and he'll shoot some missiles. Yeah, if you... And so it's easier to do this move in midair, because then there's less downtime as well. And then when you're in midair, you also kind of fly a bit with some flamethrower action. And then when you're in midair, you can also press buttons to shoot extra missiles, or shoot some laser eyes. And if you try to run with this, you actually move really fast with like flamethrower thrusters. Like this. And it's actually just as fast, or maybe even faster than using a horse. So it kind of makes up for the fact that Soren can't use it. If you have any converted minions when you're doing this move too, he'll blast them away, so you can't have zombie converts at the same time as using this move. If I equip Soren's special inscription on his weapon, it'll make it so that he can stay in that mode indefinitely, but he'll take three times extra damage, so let's get on with the stage, shall we? Start by converting some people. I think I have to... Maybe if I don't kill them with it, they'll actually follow me around. Oh, I got one. See, he's floating along, flapping his wings. So now if I attack, he flies around with me, so it increases my damage. Looks like a boss fight up ahead. Oh, Mochik is here. As you may have. See, look at all the. Oh, I guess I went one. I thought I got more. They'll fly around and cause some mayhem. Oh, there we go, I got some more. Let's see if I sing. They'll rotate around me and do extra damage. Soren is a little bit slow on the start of his attacks, though. See, there we go, now we got some big guys. As I'm attacking, they're flying around me and doing extra damage. I sing. Oh, 
So Moto Chica brought his giant weapon with him. Keep losing my converted followers. See, I can move them around. You see, all the enemies are dancing along. Looks like those other bosses are going around taking bases back. At least trying to. Oh, he jumped away. Looks like I have my double Vasara attack ready, so maybe we'll do that on our next base and take it over. Painting the sword and has for his double Vasara. I'm still disappointed I can't seem to hold on to my converts quite as long. Oh, nice, nice thing there, Munishige. Did I take out a boss? Am I doing my double Basar attack? It looks like someone's immobilized there. Let's see if I switch to my other mode. See, I got rid of all my converts because they got blasted away when the arms came out for the robot. Oh, I'm moving way too fast now. I do like using the robot mode, but it is a bit difficult to control. Uh, この Oh, it's more Chica. So 
Motor Chica has a move where he pulls out like a like a fishing net and catches people. Soren is one of the characters along with Yoshitsugu and Tadakatsu who don't get caught by it. They're also the other characters who use who do not use the horses. Because they're either too big or they have their own mode of transportation. This is my Basara attack. This is actually the giant tank he uses to fight in Basara 3. Looks like I took him out for now. I don't think they stay down. Oh no, is this... Oh, okay, no, we're good, we're good. I thought that was Tadakatsu <laughs> coming in. Okay. So I think Morichika and Mitsunari are gone now. Remnants. Look at them wobbling along next to me. <laughs> Getting carried by these ugly angels. They extend the reach of my song by keep spreading out and singing the joys of Zabi with me. Oh, I got a bomb guy. <laughs> the other thing about Soren too is that you don't need to stop to break open the boxes. He'll just naturally run them over and open them up with his tank. Let's go take back our base. Or, well, I guess it hasn't been taken over yet, but let's preemptively take out these guys here. There we go. Soren's really fun to play, but the problem is he gets cancelled out his moves really easily, and there's all these cannonballs raining down on this arena. Yoshi fights like almost like a wrestler, and Iyasu fights like a boxer. Oh my gosh, he's so hard. 
Soren's also a little weaker now that I don't have any Zavis converts following me around, so kind of like Mario who needs her spinning tops. Soren benefits from having Soren benefits from having some little mooks around to control. His Pissara attack is also better for AoE and not so great for single target bosses like this. Oh no, here comes Tadakatsu. Well, if I get rid of Iyasu quick enough, I think the battle will just end. <laughs> Sorry, Tadakatsu. Oh, he's so intimidating. There we go. Oh no, I have to beat him too. <laughs> Look how big he is. No wonder he can't fit in a horse. Oh, there we go. The battle ended. Ha, you can't hit me. Let's taunt. <laughs> you just slap his butt. Imagine you having this, like, large-scale standoff fighting between two grand feudal lords and then this dude comes up in the middle and kicks both of your butts in his stupid zombie thing. コブネに乗り緩やかな川の流れに身を任せていると突如襲い来るザビーパイレーツここで金目のものをいただきますこれでザビー教の資金も潤いますお金と引き換えに命を救われ愛の尊さを再認識いつザビーワールドいつザビー
very ornate, kind of ridiculous. Uh, but the thing about Kanetsugu is that in the Basara games, he likes to brag about how invincible he is. He'll, he'll come in and be like, I'm so invincible, you can't beat me, I'm invincible. And then he always dies in like a couple hits. Because he's basically just a regular foot soldier who just was given a special appearance. Now part of the reason why is because in Basara, Kanetsugu is almost like the Dan Hibiki of the series. So Dan Hibiki is a Street Fighter character who is kind of like a parody character. Uh, and I think part of it, from what I've heard, is because in Samurai Warriors, which is Basara's kind of main competitor by Koei, has Naoi Kanetsuku as one of their poster boys. So in order to poke fun at him, they took their poster boy and made him into a very useless character in Basara. So Kanetsuku has never been officially playable. He's always just appeared. But in this game, if you turn on the roulette mode, he can appear as a temporarily playable character. You can get transformed into him temporarily. And the thing about him is he is actually really strong. He kills everyone else in one hit, but uh, the drawback is he also dies in just one hit. So it's a running joke. You'll see him on this stage. The other thing I want to point out about this stage is just before we selected the stage, there was a little cutscene of a uh, kind of a cockroachy looking guy running through some mine tunnels. And uh, that's Goto Matabe, and he's a new character for Basara 4. He's almost like a gremlin character. He has a revenge journal for all the people that he needs to get back at, and Kenshin is one of them, Masamune is another one, and so he doesn't actually have a stage of his own, but if you see that cutscene before your stage selection, and then one of these stages, it means he's going to intrude on your fight. So when we're fighting the final boss of the stage, Matabe is going to come out of nowhere and basically make it into a three-way fight instead of a two-way fight. So look forward to that. He's, a, he's an interesting character. I think I, I'll do a playthrough of him later, even though I'm not super fond of his playstyle, but he's just got some really cool aesthetic and design choices that I think you just really need to see. Okay, let's do Kenshin stage. Let's Zabi! So the beginning of the stage, we actually have to defend our bases. Look at these ridiculous rings of soldiers. Oh, look at Soren's taunt. He basically slaps his butt. With his book. If you have any converts, he'll they'll also explode and go flying if you do his taunt. So I could go take over these bases too, and that will actually stop this part of the fight early, but. It's a little bit harder on higher difficulties if I don't have a character that I'm good at playing, so I'm not sure if I'll do that this time. If I was playing with someone else, I could probably do it, or someone that was faster, at least. So for now, I'll just defend my bases. Actually, maybe I have some time. You can hear from Kasuka's voice that she's really into into Kenshin. <laughs> oh, here's Kanetsugu. It's like he's trying to look at the camera, but the cameraman just won't have any of it. So if I beat Kanatsuki here... See, look, he went down in like one hit. Oh, 
that's what I wanted. Some extra bases to take over. Let's do that. Ah, I'm moving too fast. It's pretty hard to aim this move too when his regular attacks when you go whizzing past people. Ah, come on, I need to take back my bases, hurry. Sorry, you're too slow. I could just do a Basara move, but I want to save it. Dealing damage to my base over there. Oh my god. Let's go take our bases back. I don't know why she does that pose. Kasuka is one of the characters that's made to be intentionally attractive. But she has a really cool fighting style and also a really cool theme to hear that music. Let's take over this base real quick. Or they take over mine. That did not do very much damage. Let's turn on maximum style time. Okay, got rid of these guys. Let's uh. Our attack takes too long. I need to go defend my base. <laughs> Hurry up, Soren. I want to make more converts, but it takes so long to convert them and they don't stay around for too long. Oh, my base is almost destroyed. Where's Kasuka? Oh, come on. She flew right over my head. Where are you? There you are. No, I don't have time for a duel. 
Look at Soren wave his arms after he wins the duel. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now we can get to Kenshin. So Kenshin is kind of known as the god of war. He's a very skilled tactician, very strong swordsman. He wields the element of ice. He's also a bit effeminate, the way his face is shaped, and he always wears this hat, hood, turban thing. So people don't actually know what his hair looks like. So there's been funny memes of pictures of him being actually bald, or pictures of him with blue hair. So again, as we're fighting Kenshin, when he gets down on health, Matabe is going to come and intrude upon our battle. Sing it to death. There he is. So now we're gonna fight both of them. I don't want to use my double bizarre attack because it's too powerful. I'll just end the fight right away. I want to make it last a little bit. So Matabe uses like a like a crescent-shaped sword, and he can throw it like a boomerang. And when it's flying in the air, it can continue to hit enemies, and then his moveset changes into using his claws, while the boomerang acts independently and smacks people around. <sighs> Look, he's writing my name into his revenge journal before he falls down. Kind of reminds me of Dist from Tales of Abyss, who also has a revenge journal. <laughs> so again, imagine you're like the god of war, renowned feudal lord, and tactician, and you get beaten by this guy, <laughs> prancing around singing about his fake religion. Miwak 
お前はザビーランドがプリティマスコッツジャンボザビーの中の人となるのですソーリン様中の人とは一体うるさいですよ宗重これを切ればわかりますほほうこれはまたなかなかなかなかで鎧というか着ぐるみお前のバカでかいだけの図体でもそれを着るとザビー様の大きな背中を思い出しますあれ今の一言にわし胸が締め付けられてるチャップルクラーネクステージセレクション何やらチーム。Let's give that one a try since we haven't done that one before. Maybe we'll try using Munishige for a little bit too. Let's zabi! Give Munishige a bit of a test run. So, I don't really play Munishige because he's a slow character, but he is strong. I have a special item equipped that increases the power of his chainsaws, that's why they're glowing. So, Munishige, a little slow. Let's see his taunt. So, his moves are kind of slow, but they're quite powerful. And if I hold down the button while I'm doing his regular hits, the chainsaw s p i n a little bit extra, which does a little bit of extra damage. Here's his guard. I think this one might be a. Oh no, that one's just a big kind of explosion on the ground. I know one of its moves is a grab. Oh. So I think. Make him charge forward. Cool. What does that do? Surely that can't be it, right? Maybe we'll try it with some enemies. 
Okay, I think this one's a grab. So if you hit someone with it, he'll like pick them up and electrocute them. I thought he had a move where he just kind of plows his way around. Okay, well maybe we'll give it a try. So on this stage we'll encounter both Naotora and Yukimura. We can see them fighting here. <laughs> They're just having a clash there. We're also going to see Sasuke Sarutobi, who is Yukimura's best friend and right-hand man. He's another one of the ninja characters in the game, and his whole shtick revolves around using Shadow Clones to attack. Hopefully we can do this, because Munishige is not one of my stronger characters. I think he's also strong enough to just knock down boxes, yeah, as you run through them, so you don't have to stop and actually hit them open. Let's try his throw. Oh, that's not the move I wanted. No, this move. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. So you grab someone and then you... Like, get hit by a lightning bolt. Which then you shock into them. Oh, I think it's his, it's his Basara attack where he runs around and charges. Oh my gosh, he's so slow, he keeps getting staggered between his hits. Just let me finish. なら、俺たちで叶うわけがねえ。こんな仕事頭に血が昇ってるだろうな。さらだ忍びたい。迎え撃て。さあ、お前たち。楽しい忍び仕事のお時間だ。武田の盛況。Oh, all these ninjas throwing webs at me. Who do they think they are? Spider-Man? Oh, I did it. Oh, I missed that one. I'm a much better Spider-Man. That's in reference to my last Let's Play, for those of you who might not be aware. I am really low on health. Okay, let's do our Bizarre attack. Kind of charges around. Calls down the lightning bolt. Let's switch back to Soren because he actually has some health. Let's grab some minions. Treasure, tre treasure box guys will take you. Can't even see the angels holding onto their backs. So here's Sasuke. ついてないね。オタクもさ。ん理由まあ聞かなくてもすぐにわかると思うけどね。うちら今結構忙しいんだけど、オタク空気読めてる。私の約束の人はお前たち竹馬との戦だ。お前たちもお前たちのせいで。
I can't see anything. I got him pretty good though. He kind of does that Moto Chica thing where he like pretends to shrug it off before he collapses. You saved your Kimura. Ah, the tiger is Mushiki's just barely hanging on. I can't see anything! Stop zooming around everywhere, Soren. I'll kill the tiger with my song. お前は昆虫部門長です。ちゃんとザビースに乗ってるんですか Backer into the corner here. <laughs> she can't escape. <laughs> See, once they like, once you rush past him with a spinning move and you miss like this, then it's like, well, I gotta do this part before I attack him again. It's really inconvenient. ちょっと無理をすることはない。ヘルスバーというドアを。死体抜かれた兵を抱かなかった。オッケープラザ。ひでえ。それがそう追い詰めた。あの名を取らと破ったのか。ザビル、ザビル、ザビル、ザビル、
Okay, let's go face Yukimura. Take over the bases here. Yukimura is one of those characters that just is always shouting and being intense. I could probably just do a double bizarre attack and take over both bases at once. Where's the fun in that? ケントを重ねた結果命の危機という結論に至りました。先生堂々なってクソくらいです。もっと引き出す。ザミン様のように。まさに奇襲が届けに行くさぶりを。ランドの次はエマスの二役ザミウッドです。Oh, you want? You want this? I sure showed him, didn't I? Convert him. Slap my butt. He's so strangely cute, but in like a really weird way. Oh, I forgot to mention when I was showing off his costumes. So Soren's second costume in this game makes him look like a like a weird angel. In Basar 3 Utage, his extra costume was and it made it look like almost like a Santa's elf. Or like a Santa's helper. It looks really weird. But I mean that's just part of Soren's aesthetic, right? <laughs> あれほど楽しいものなのに不可思議ですねそりゃお金と不況と脅しが全面に出過ぎたものソーリンのザビーハントもカッパー玉のカツラかぶらされてソーリン様に追われるだけだもんな売るだザビーテツとやけた鉄
So if I pick the blue scroll path here, I'll go to Soren's drama route. Anything else gives his Sengoku creation route. Uh, both, of his en both of his endings are really good, so I think I'll do the drama route this time because I really want to show you that cutscene. So here we'll fight Shimazu. We haven't fought him yet before. He's kind of like a, like a very old, hardened veteran warrior. And in Bizarre, in the previous Bizarre games, he was one of the characters who got converted to Zavism by Zabi in one of his joke endings. So he got christened as Chester Shimazu, as opposed to his real name, which is uh, Yoshihiro Shimazu. So, let's see what happens. I think this stage is pretty straightforward too, if I remember. ザビーランドの業績はうなぎ下がりの一途。全ては胸しげのジャンボザビーがいまいちだからです。手前が至らぬばかりに笑顔の鍛錬強化の鉄矢だぞ。こうなったら協力キャストを引き抜きます。お前
おまはんらも試すとよかおお待ちください今すぐアニマル部門の担当者が参りますので命乞いなんざするだけ無駄だよなきっと。Are they? I have a general idea of where they are, but it's been so long I don't remember the map. Maybe it was in Basara 3 where you get the stage where like, the hidden bases come back and they ambush you. Yeah, actually, I think that might be, that might be it. This one here. Oh no. Wait, there it is. Oh, yeah, it is a stage, I think. I usually like doing the stage when I'm in a hurry, just because it's so quick to do. If you just rush straight for the boss and you don't really do the objective. This one here. There's like a hidden one. Yeah, I think that was it. Sweet. I feel like I should map the rest of this place just for completion. Even though it doesn't do anything. There's some tigers here. That was annoying. At least tigers can't pounce and pin me to the ground because I'm Soren. Like Yoshitsuku and Tadakatsu, he's too large to ride horses, and he doesn't get affected by enemy grab attacks because of his strange zombie tank. I can't see. See, if I didn't let any of the guys through, then these faces would all be unpopulated. Oh my gosh, let me go through. ザビ、タビ、ワビ、タビ、ムネシゲ、ムナシゲ、心は西木。なんとかいけた。ムナシゲ、ムネシゲ、心しげ、イエ。島津千歩、釣りのぶせじゃ。かかったな。恋はよか
Soren is a much more interesting character than Zabi was. Like, gameplay wise, especially if I look back on Basara 1 and 2 videos. Maria stage. We haven't done this one yet. It's uh honestly quite annoying. <laughs> あとは花屋かさ。そう、ザビーデレラ城にふさわしい女神たる存在が必要です。それならザイニーマリアとかいうおなごがおるちゅう噂じゃ。変わった名前じゃが、ザビードンの知り合いかね。ちょっと今なん
We'll see how this goes. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Let's take over some bases while we're at it. Ow. Come back. I'm gonna knock the around here, too. So I think that we can't actually take down Nagamasa. If you beat him, he'll just get knocked down and then he'll come back after a bit. This guy's getting away. Come back. We take back the bases though. Go a long way. Ah, that guy's getting away. So Nagamasa and Uichi don't have their own stages in Basara 4, but this is kind of their shared stage with Naria. Since she's like the headliner since she's a new character. I've seen it manage myself pretty well so far, but we'll see after they pick up the number of guys coming. I think that some of the guys come down here because they take a shortcut. Oh no, there he is! Where'd the other guy go? Oh. oh no, am I missing one? Oh no! マリアさま、この宝物と恋の身を受け取りくだされ。はいはい、分かったわ。ザビル、ザビル、ザビル、ザビル、ならザビレバー。お前は笑う。手に入れるためのなんだ。ザビル、ザビル、ザビル、ザ
一対一にどうしてほしいのあなたなら教えてくれるのウィッチは何か、ここで、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。ウィッチは、シロシトスゲームをしわす。Oh no, Uichi is taking back my bases. Get back here. No! Oh good. I thought I'd push him into it. No! You m u t not gonna ask that! No! His duel distracted me from the guy that was passing by. How dare! She's taking back all my bases. Take it out on you. Get lost. Get him, Munishige. I really should convert some more people, but that move is just so slow. I don't do it very much. Get these big guys. Oh, there goes my bases. There's only one box guy left, though, so. Take back our bases before we go for the bosses.
He's so extra. <laughs> His music is pretty cool too. There we go. Ah. See if we can take them both out with this. ヨメイリ関がこの世を会う。あなたたちのことは聞いていますよ。そっちこそ忘れたかさ。ウェディングショー。ザビ。ザビ。ザビ。正義は時に犠牲を払わねばならぬのか。<笑> <Zabi. laughs> Looks like the two of them are getting into the whole zombie thing, huh? So there she is. あなたもまたわらわが欲しくて手を伸ばすのね。でもどうかしら。あなたはわらわを奪うにふさわしい。ちょうど物足りなかったところだもの。あなたと言うの天井系。わらわが受け取ってあげる。女神の名に あの、手前こう見えても性質がおりまして出て行かれてしまいましたかね。奥方なんて関係ないわ。それよりも我は初めてなの。なんでもう。手前には愛する奥が。あなたほどに優柔不断でイライラする男の顔。Her death animation is kind of dramatic, so I kind of want to Beat her without knocking her down so we can see it. Ah, stop it! Mario, Mario, please! She like spins and then she does this like Shakespearean pose, reaching up to the heavens as she falls down. Get up! Eh? Yeah. 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 Y
Poor Munishige, he always gets the short end of the stick. I love how Oichi's just kind of standing quietly, obediently on the side. Looks like Soren picked a good crew of people to convert to Zabism this time around. It's a shame we didn't encounter Motonari though, because he has a really fun kind of a cutscene interaction with Soren. But I was surprised Soren's drama route. It only had two stages, right? After the split? Usually there's three, so that's a little odd, but I'll take it. Maybe we'll go and do a stage with Motonari for fun afterwards, just so we can see the cutscene. Yeah, so we did Ieyasu and Hideyoshi, and then Kenshin. Takeda versus Naotora, Shimazu, and then, yeah, Mario. Hinomoto Zabiran to Kake Kaku Complete this. Then cook me what Zabi, I was a second as I. Anokata, you'll be Mudo Stamini. Sonoji Daiwa, send in no Tokyo Koete. Okay, so that was Sora Tomo's story. Pretty wacky character. Since we have time, and we were short one stage, let's let's do Motonari stage. I'll even do it on easy just so it goes by a bit faster. But I really want to show you that cutscene between Motonari and Soren. So this free mode, as you can see, some of them stages have been new next to them, it just means that I've never actually played them on free mode, I've only played them in story mode. So as you play stages in story mode, you unlock them for free play. Where's Motonari? So I mentioned before Motonari was converted to Zabism in a joke ending in a previous game, but unlike the others, he doesn't actually seem to be very into it. I think he's another stage, this one. So he's not really into it, so every time he encounters Abism and starts to feel like he's getting converted again, he tries to resist. So I'll keep the roulette on, so most of the time I turn the roulette off, but I think we've seen enough Soren that I can turn it on. So what the roulette does is every time you take over a base, a roulette wheel spins. And depending on what you land on, you can get different things. You can either be transformed into a temporarily playable character, like Kanetsugu, or Motochika's Rising Sun, or a random bomb soldier. Sometimes a bucket like falls down on your head, and then some zombie angels try to come down and convert you to their religion, which knocks you out for a bit. Sometimes a bunch of guys come down wielding like extra money that you can hit, and you can spend that extra currency on the special Sumeragi exclusive shop for costumes and weapons and extra skills. Or sometimes an extra enemy will come out, if you beat them before they leave, then you get some extra coins. So Miyamoto Musashi, who was a previous Basara character, could appear, and he's a little difficult. He fights with like a like an ore, because I think historically Miyamoto Musashi dueled Kojiro Katakura with an ore, I think. Maybe he won, I can't remember. Uh, sometimes you'll get Poem Amago appear, and he's Haruhisu, Har Haruhisa Amago from the Bizarre 3, the previous game. He was an NPC general who had more of a generic design, so he was never playable. He was almost like a reskin of a regular soldier. His trick was that he could hide in the sand, so if he appears, he'll hide in the sand. If you can kill him before he runs away, you get extra coins. So you get all sorts of things happening with the roulette wheel. So let's give it a try. So Motonari, like we said before, he's like a cunning tactician. He's kind of cold and heartless. 
He's Moto Chica's rival. He has a little bit of a ridiculous costume, and not only that, but he... Um... How do I say this? It's ridiculous to see someone that's so, like, cold and uncaring suddenly break out into song. It's just, it's just really satisfying. He has a thing for Amaterasu and the Sun, so that's why when he gets converted to Zabism, they call him Sunday Mori, and that's why his stage involves a lot of sunbeams coming down. So he has, like, mirror contraptions that reflect sunlight into concentrated laser beams that he can use to attack you, because that's totally how physics works. キリンを恐れぬ不定な輩ども。日の力により罰を受けよ。君子様のお連れ通りここまで来たのに、声が聞こえなくなっちゃいました。もしもし。おや、それ姫さんのステージ2。ランドの大目玉、エレクトロニジ
我が万丈になき行動は月姫神奈美Tsuhime is also running towards Mojinari right now. And ideally, we want to stop her before she gets there, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Oh, Kanatsugu again. Aren't I lucky? I'll use him to take over the base real quick. I keep getting so many transformations. Oh no. <laughs> so the bucket falls on your head, and then zombie angels come down and try to convert you, but since I was transformed, it didn't do anything to me. I can't see anything. <laughs> I mean, the roulette mode is really good for if you don't like playing as a certain character, but you want to level them or do their story. Yeah, the door's open, so now we can chase Tsuruhime. We can knock her out before she gets to Motonari then. Get a little bonus. Oh, that wasn't too bad. See this cutscene. Interesting how Soren's theme is playing and not Mojinari's theme. Usually it plays the theme of the character you're fighting. His death animation is kind of funny too. He spins around forever in his little ring blade until he falls over. Chainsaw weapons. <laughs> I really wonder how they work. Cause they don't really have real chainsaw like handles. So where's the motor and stuff? <laughs> uh, who needs to explain it, right? So there we have it. Sora no Tomo story and a little bonus stage with Motonari. Pretty crazy character, he's fun to play, a little bit difficult, a little bit hard to control, but I find him so amusing. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Let's Play Sengoku Pasara 4 Sumeragi, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much, and goodbye!